Cougars of Washington State get the first play of the game for over 10 yards. And boy, was it over 10 yards. Well, Washington State catches Arizona in man-to-man -man coverage. And Albert Kennedy gets locked up with number five, Claudius Wright. I'm sorry, number six, Ray. And he just out jumps him for a jump ball and has the presence and the composure to keep his footing and get down the field. Look at the protection that Davis gets on this pass. He's able to sit back and throw it. And Kennedy does a good job of adjusting to the ball. And there is Chad Davis, the sophomore, the transfer from Oklahoma. Didn't want to run the option there, so that's not what I came here to run. Transferred to Washington State. And there's the man he hooked up with. Albert Kennedy with 524 to play in the opening period. The Cougars of Washington State. Gotten on the scoreboard. Chad Davis to Albert Kennedy, 85 yards. Throw to kick it away. Kerry Taylor has got it at the 11. Junior from San Diego is hit and bounced at the 20 yard line by Chad, like that Terrell Henderson. We well, talk about a jump ball by Albert Kennedy. They don't come much better than this right here. Well, he's a young man who's been struggling in this program for a couple of years. He's out of Vallejo, California, and he gets a chance to make a big play in the biggest ball game of the year for Washington State. Look how he makes the adjustment to the ball. He plays off of the back of Spencer Ray and is able to time his jump perfectly and go up and get the ball. Now, if Dan White and the Wildcats of Arizona are going to score in the first period, they're going to go against the odds. Nothing there. Chad Eaton, the senior tackle on the left side, to stuff him. Oh, Phil, and it's going to get even tougher for Arizona right now because the crowd is really getting into the ball game. They're doing the sharp clap and the like. Eaton and everyone else are getting fired up. It's awfully loud for Dan White and the Wildcats. New Washington State, four and one coming in. And the I formation, first man through, that's Jason Patterson. Moves the ball out across the 27. That's the 10th play by Arizona. All have been rushing plays. Right to the left. First down at the 42-yard line. Pitch from the inside. There is nothing for Gary Taylor. Man, oh man. First time this afternoon that the sophomore tailback out of San Diego has felt this Cougar defense led by Mark Fields and Chad Eaton. <laughs> he was probably asking Antoine Carter, well, what's it like out there? <laughs> Antoine says, go find out. Now you look at this stifling Cougar defense. Only two touchdowns allowed in the last 22 quarters. They've allowed only four drives of 50 or more yards this year. And only three drives of 10 or more plays. I mean, this is a defense that likes to get you three and out. Gary Pace comes wide right. It's first down. Wildcats. Nothing there, and again, Chad Eaton. The senior tackle from Puyallup, Washington, is there. Second down, second down and 10. Antoine Carter is old for his last three carries. Right from the shotgun. Ball is tipped at the line of scrimmage. The tight end, Lamar Harris, was wide open. Wayne Sanders is the man who got the tip. See Washington State running stunts and games. You see Field 29 come through, but 92 Sanders is the man who knocks the ball down. Off California, and here come the Cougars. Oh. Right the Cougars. And oh, oh, is he hit by John Rushing? Oh my! That is the third blitz from the secondary, and Dan White was totally exposed, and Rushing really pounded him. You'll see him come right up the middle and a full, full tilt. And he just levels white. Second time here in the first quarter that rushing on the free safety blitz has gotten to Dan White. In yards per catch, almost 19. Straight ahead it goes, Antoine Carter. And there is nothing but Ron Childs. Let's go to Paul Sunderland. Dan White under center. Jason Patterson, the 5'11", 227-pound fullback. Patterson meets Patterson. It is Jason. Hello, Dwayne. Almost 45 yards per. Spencer Ray. Mark Fields is 
was the guy who spun Carter around. Great pressure by Fields. Fields was like he was shot out of a cannon. He came right through there, flying in there. Nine yards. I believe are going to whistle it down. How in the world? Carter was knocked down. Salsa pulled the ball free and had it. Well, they blew the whistle, apparently, concluding that his progress had been stopped. Let's take a look. He's right there. Ball's out right there. He's got it. Yeah, well, his progress had been stopped. His progress had been stopped, and the officials blew the whistle. Quick whistle here at Martin. Now can't hear the whistle at all. Yep. The officials say Arizona retains possession. It's a first down at the 47. Reverse near side. Here comes Taylor. And nobody in the red jerseys went for it. On the reverse, Ron Child stayed at home and took Kerry Taylor down. Think in terms of a flip down from Washington State, Bill. Third and seven, white three-step drop. Has it knocked down at the line of scrimmage? I believe it was Brandon Sanders who got his hand up, and if it is, that's the second deflection he has had on the afternoon. But Washington State is really starting to fall into a pattern where on third down, they want to come with a safety blitz, and they're bringing the house this time. You'll see three, four, five guys coming in from the outside. Rushing number 10 was showing you the man coverage by going out to get to his guy, but Washington State was bringing four extra guys on the rush that time, Phil. Let's go down to Paul Sunderland, Paul. Well, Phil, you know an awful lot about the name Desert Swarm and, of course, how the Arizona Wildcats got that a couple of years ago. They've been trying to come up with an equally catchy nickname for this great defense at Washington State. They called them the Palouse Posse, and then it was the Crimson Crunch. But somebody in the San Francisco newspaper asked Torrey Hunter what he think they ought to call him. He said, why don't you just call it the Hood? Not very friendly, kind of tough to get through. I think we ought to call it the Hood. What do you think, Phil? You're good at this. Back to you. <laughs> Yeah, we were talking about this a couple of weeks ago. We could uh, put a moniker on this, the Washington State defense. And going to get a lot of pressure from Washington State. Here's the draw on Juan Carter. And what he did was draw the attention of Mark Fields and Chris Hayes. Well, you can't say enough about the speed of these two teams and their defenses. You know, and it really is this trend in college football now, Phil, to go to smaller guys playing up front in the linebacker position, guys who can run. Mark Fields... Chris Hayes, they may be kind of undersized for some positions, but you put them up there and let them run around and you have big tackles. Wildcats come to the gun. Well, coming near side wants Lovett. He's got it, and whoa. Lovett gets all of Ryan Walker that he wants. Walker, the junior transfer from Snow Community College. Yeah, Lovett got a big hit there on the sideline, but he popped right up as if to say, no big deal, didn't bother me. Watch the hit at the end of the play. Nice ball thrown by White out here to pick up a first down. And watch the hit by Walker. Man. Lovett just pounced. Right back up after that. Well, he intercepted Tony Graziani of Oregon last week here at uh, Martin Stadium. Here come the Cougars. Low, way short. McLaughlin slipped on his approach and fell down. Got nothing behind him. And the clock stops with eight seconds to play. The Cougars will have the ball at the 39-yard line. He just lost his footing. Yeah, Phil, you're exactly right. He loses on his plant foot. You'll see it right there. He just slides all the way through. Now, what you can't see, you see it a little bit as, uh, as he pounds on that turf. There's sand underneath this, uh, this grass, this artificial surface. And as this game wears on, the sand begins to work its way up. Now, I'm surprised the Wildcats are having trouble with this sand because they're from the desert.